Hello, I am Sifu Andrew Platt and welcome to our next in the series of Splashing Hands Bag Drills, okay? So we're going to uh, add on what we learned from last drill. I'm, I'm filming that straight off the back of this one, uh, it just seems suitable to do it straight off. Uh, so I'll put them both up today and then make sure you, you practice one before you practice the other. Uh, but both do go hand in hand, okay? Um, so what we're going to work on today is we're going to work at the uh, close range. Last time we did the mid-range add-on, so we did the uppercut, the forearm, the inside, the outside, the spiral up this way, the spiral down this way. Okay, so all after jab punch, so jab punch one, jab punch two, jab punch three, and so on. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to add them, these into elbows. So we're going to take the exact same angles and we're going to turn them into elbows. Now this does happen in splashing hands drilling again, in common and uncommon. So. Uh, when we speak about common, we speak about the regular um, traditional drills that have been uh, brought on. So we've got stuff like uh, where the jab punch, uh, the elbow here, and then the hammer fist here. Okay, the hammer fist has just been extended to here, by the way, on the last one. So it's the same movement here, but it's just a little bit higher up. Um, but yeah, so the, the elbow here, this way, is just a shortened version of this, because it's the same motion going to the left, this way with the waist, and hitting this way. It's just if your opponent's here and not here. Because if they're here, you don't want to hit here because they're here, you're going to miss them. You want to hit close in, bam, this way. And you, you can turn from the waist, bam, this way, using the shuffle. All right? But everything has to follow the jab punch, which is why the jab punch drills are the most important. And same with the punch jab as well. They're the number one. These are extras, but that's why I call them add-ons. Um, that's not a traditional term, but it's what I, I like to, to call them. Because they're additional to the jab punch. You should be firing out the jab punch as many as you can go. <laughs> And then you can put an add-on in when you need it. You don't tend to put more than one or two add-ons in before you go back to the jab punch, okay? Because you shouldn't need them. The slightly stronger moves, but slightly slower at the same time. Okay, so we're gonna to work today on that. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna show you about the mid-range we use, and then I'm gonna show you the short range version of that. So the first mid-range one we used last time was the uppercut, okay, going to the face. Again, normally the tradition to the ribs is going to the face. So jab punch, jab punch, uppercut, jab punch, jab punch. Alright, so the uppercut for an elbow is here, because we're going upwards here, okay? And again, in the drilling, you can use this here, this way. Now, see how I'm covering the face? All elbows have a contact with the hand to simulate hitting something, alright? Because on the bank, you don't want to go up like that and keep going. You want to strike here, okay, and back down. You don't want to go right up and through, because you're exposing your ribs. If you do this, you're exposing this here. All right, when you sing this, you go like this, you're exposing your back. We don't do that in splashing hands because it's about speed. You make contact and you come back, you bounce. So that's what this simulates. But we're not going to do that when we actually hit something because this is our hand and this is our, uh, our block. So we're going to block. Okay? So the uppercut here turns into here, this way. And again, using the waist and the turn, but for now, just keep the feet flat till you get the idea. We'll work on footwork later. So you close in this time. So you jab, punch. Jab, punch, uppercut. And again, I'm keeping the hand open. The reason I keep the hand open is because if I need to block, I can. If it's closed, you have to open it again. And you're not hitting with a hand, so why bother? Keep the hand open unless you're hitting. So we're going to elbow here. It's a very good one because you're covering the face as well. So we get close in. The problem with this is if you're on a non-moving bag, you need to jab, punch here, and you can need to elbow here. But for this, I'm just going to do short jab punches. All right, so just to get the idea. If you're using a moving bag, you could step in or the bag would move towards you. So we're going to jab, punch, jab, punch, uppercut. This is one, two, two, one, two, two, uppercut. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, uppercut. One, two, two. Okay, get the idea. That's the same, exactly the same drill as before, just using the uppercut with an elbow instead of a fist. Now, the next one we did was this way. Okay, out, this way, keeping the elbow down. Now this is the traditional splashing hand sideways elbow again, mainly to the ribs. Today I'm going to do a little bit higher up because that's just the place I'm working. If I was on this bed, I could do it to the ribs, I could do it a bit too, a bit too close to it down here, this is in the way. A normal bag, you could do it to the ribs. Okay, so this time, I'm going this way, sideways. So if I was to hold my hand, we're turning this way, we're not going to hold down, we're going to cover the face. Okay, um, some people do it like this, and cover the hand here for extra leverage, we're not going to do that, I'm just going to go here. So one, two, one, two, elbow. One, two, one, two. Again, you get more power from this, but less velocity. You've got more structure, but you get less velocity because the hand creates more velocity the further away from the body it is. 
So we're using the elbow, the shoulder has even less velocity but more strength. So it depends what your trade off is on that. Okay? So that's that way. So we've got this one going sideways. This way. Alright? So now with outwards, this one, this one's that last one we saw from, from butterfly. Again, this isn't in butterfly here with the elbow, this way. This is in dragon, this is in butterfly. Alright, so we're gonna hit here around the side here, so the front's fine, hit around the side to the fine here. So again with elbow, <laughs> this way. It's a little bit tough to go all the way around to this side, but you just turn the body and explode outwards. Turn the body, explode outwards for the practice. We're gonna jab, punch, jab, punch this one, elbow that way. This one. This you jab it from the same hand you just elbowed with. It's this one. It's a little bit slower, but you should be closer in, so you have no choice. Don't use this if you don't have to. If you're here, you're not going to try and elbow someone, remember? You're only going to elbow them if they're here. So if they step in after the jab punch, or if they stay where they are and you moved in with the jab punch, yeah, you can elbow this one. Yeah, it's easy to do that and try and step back and punch. Alright, so we've got this leg. Now, the last two, oh, downwards this way. I almost forgot that one. The downwards here, when we can go down this way, we're going to do a downwards elbow. Again, very nice, um, where it exposes the ribs, so use with caution. One, two, one, two, and it comes down. Don't go like this, because this is obvious. Yeah, it's obvious you're going to get hit the ribs before you get a chance to use it. It's here, here, and then just down this way. Two, two, down. Then you're covering the head, covering the face. Quite a nice one, this one. It's not forwards, remember, it's, it's downwards. Don't push forwards on these because you're going to go off balance. Okay, so we've got downwards this one. Now, uh, the last two is this one. Now, this one I can't do on this bag. Okay, you can do it on an iron hand bag or a flat bag. Because the downwards motion, it, it's not here, it's downwards this way. So if I was hitting something here, say, say my hand's back, comes over to up and down this way. Down this way. So maybe they drop to the floor or they're over on the knees like this. Yeah, the back of the head here. You just shuffle and down to the back of the head. So we're not we're not dropping down to meet them. Yeah, we hit, they go down. You take them out back of the head. That's it. I can't see them getting up after that. You get a good hit. This way. So make sure you use that on the open air drills. I'll find an iron bag to drop down onto. Okay, but just so you're aware, that is the downwards drill. Now the upwards drill for this one. Is this way. So this is also the hammer fist as well. Here, it's here. It's hitting a different angle. So we're going to use an elbow this way. So one, two, upwards. Again, hitting up. This is nice if someone goes to grab you. You can hit up at the back. Or again, if you step back here, you can hit up this way. It's very nice one. So again, one, two, one, two, up. And use the other hand as well. You can put the face this way. One, two, one, two. Okay, so we've got all six there, all six moves. Uh, again, you can do them open hand drills. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Yeah, you get the idea. Now, when you're using drill on the bike, you can do all the uppercut drills as before. You can do all the uppercut or mid range, and then you can do all the elbows, close range. Okay, so that's good. Or you can mix it, you can go jab, punch, uppercut, jab, punch, uppercut, this way. Do this one. And then you can switch and you do one, two, three. And then you go back to the uppercut. Yeah, it's this way. Uppercut. Yeah, so you can go uppercut, uppercut, elbow, elbow, or you can go uppercut, elbow, uppercut, elbow. You mix it up like that. Or you can just do mid range, mid range, mid range, and then elbow, elbow, elbow. It's up to you. But then let's just begin to freestyle. This way. You mix it up. If you want to just go for speed, you can go for speed this way. Yeah, and change like that. Okay, so hopefully you can have some fun with that because we've got the six directions which give you six drills over right and left, and that gives you many combinations there. We then have the uh, uh, close range, and that gives you six options there. So that gives you 12 different options to play with. If you link them together, that, yeah, that gives you absolutely hundreds of different variations. Okay, and that's just one set of drills. So hopefully that's give you something to work with, and I uh, hope you have fun with that. Let me know how it goes. I'd like to hear your feedback on that one. Um, it's very, very fun drill, but I, I like to use a lot. So, thank you very much. Take care and enjoy your training.